Hey, I thought I'd go over my updated XPatter configuration for DFO. Now, I've posted about this in the past, but uh, I've actually made some recent changes. Some of the recent changes I've made is uh, you can actually map the PlayStation Guide button and the touchpad as buttons. So what I have is I have a set item on the touchpad, which is obviously very useful if you're doing Hell Mode Grinding or Epic Road. And I have uh, F10 on the guide button, which allows you to retry a dungeon, which is nice. Uh, it comes in handy in scenario mode and stuff like that. I have my assist button on the right analog stick. Uh, I've just flicked the right analog stick up. And then F12 is on the left analog stick on L3. Uh, what that allows you to do is it allows you to exit out of the dungeon without touching the mouse. Uh, basically, with this setup, uh, even with a controller, you can pretty much remove the mouse and keyboard from the game entirely, aside from things like inventory management, which obviously you wouldn't want to do with the controller anyway because it would be much slower. So I'm going to go ahead and show it right now. I'll do a couple hell mode runs. Keep in mind from this point, uh, I am not touching the controller or the keyboard or mouse at all. If people are interested, I can actually post my uh, X Patter file. Good. I just push the uh, the touchpad and all the items will just come to me because I have it mapped to set item. I used to have my assist on L3 but uh, it was kind of unwieldy to use and now that I have it just by flicking up on the analog stick I can actually get to it a lot faster since uh, most of my stuff is done manual. I do most of my uh, my commands and stuff are done manual. The only ones that I have are the first four attacks here I put on the uh, on the triggers but other than that I don't use uh, anything else in the skill bar at all <laughs> it's, it's all just uh, it's there for reference for the cooldowns but I do I have all my characters configured in a way so that their manual inputs I can compete with people who play on keyboard so it actually works really well uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write my uh, write out my configuration in the description and you guys can copy it if you want. So I push, I push L3, and I'm back in town. <laughs> it works. Uh, it works really well. I know people say that uh, the gamepad is a is a disadvantage in this game. It, it really isn't. Uh, you just have to put work into it. Uh, if you try to play with the basic inputs, then you're going to have an awful time. Now, you can also map your stuff to the left and right analog stick, but I've never really been able to get used to that. Uh, I played this game with manual inputs for years and years and years now. This actually works really well for me. Uh, I've already gone over my manual inputs in previous videos. So you can go ahead and look those up. Uh, I'm not going to elaborate on that on here, but it actually works quite well. It just takes a little getting used to. But this way, uh, you can have set item, you can have back to town, and continue, you know, or retry uh, all on the controller along with your assist as well. So you're not really touching the the keyboard and mouse at all. It's also nice. If you use my setup, uh, you can actually repair your items and you can disassemble things without touching the controller too because I have A, S, D, and F uh, mapped to the L, L and R buttons. So basically like right now if I want to repair, I push R1 and then circle because circle is mapped to space. So uh, I'm able to repair my stuff and disassemble it without touching the controller. It actually works really well. So what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and type it out in the description. Uh, if people really want the file, I can do it, but I'm not sure exactly how to share that. Uh, I don't know. A lot of the uh, free file sharing sites are like super shady right now. Like Mediafire has like borderline malware that pops up when you download anything. So I really don't want to touch those sites right now, but what I will do is I'll type it out in the description and you guys can copy it. Uh, it might take a little getting used to. You will definitely have to tweak how your uh, 
how your manual inputs work. You'll have to find something that works for you that's uh, also competitive with people who are playing on keyboard and mouse, which is uh, easier said than done. So the last thing I'll do is uh, I just push R3, which I have mapped to escape, and that instantly closes all menus. So uh, this pretty much reduces, uh, drastically reduces all the keyboard and mouse uh, access in the game. You only have to use it to just uh, rearrange your inventory, put stuff in storage and stuff like that. It makes it feel like a console game, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, catch you guys later. Peace.